Howdy, I'm so glad you were able to join us today for the Pay It Forward YouTube Hop. Today on my channel, we're going to be doing alcohol ink techniques. To make it a little bit easier, we are using photo paper, but ours is actually going to be purple. Um, the reason that the photo paper that I have is purple is because it was actually over-processed photo paper and was going to be thrown out, but my mother-in-law salvaged it for me. We're also going to be using some Yupo paper, and we will be using a variety of alcohol inks. Um, some will be from Bria Reese, some will be from T-Rex inks, some will be from Ranger. They'll either be the older Adirondack which is still the same as the alcohol ink. It's just an older packaging. We're also going to be using some air tools. And of course, alcohol ink. This is actually denatured alcohol ink in this container. The denatured alcohol came out of my husband's garage. He says it should be about 100% alcohol. So let's see what we can come up with. Oh, also, I will be doing a giveaway on my channel. I'll be giving away this cleaning kit. It's for your camera, but it also has the air tool I'm going to be using for the techniques we'll be doing today. Since my channel will be also giving something away, I can only give it away in the United States. Sorry for any international. So we're going to use photo paper because you may not have Yuba paper on hand, but I'm sure a lot of people will have an easier time finding photo paper. We're going to use the front of the photo paper as well as the back of the photo paper. We're also going to use a sheet of Yupo paper. So to begin, I like to spray the alcohol ink onto my surface. This is the Yupo paper. and I like to spray it. You may be asking yourself what's on the bottom here and I'm using freezer paper. We also have some rich gold. It's by Pinata. And we're going to use a pipette to apply it onto our surface. So 
So this was Yupo paper, and we're also going to try it on photo paper. It tends to do better on the back side of the photo paper than it does on the front side, but I will show you the difference. I like to start out by spraying with the denatured alcohol because it helps spread the alcohol ink better. If the alcohol ink isn't spreading as much as you would like it to, you can always add more denatured alcohol. So this was Bria Reese alcohol ink with the pinata gold. And this is T-Rex ink. It's in the colors Amethyst Purple and Tidal Teal, along with the Pinata Gold. Now we're going to go onto the back side of photo paper. So let's try that with some Tim Holtz ink. And personally, I don't have a preference, but I would like to show you this. The Bria Reese ink bottle is smaller than the T-Rex ink bottle and Although the Tim Holtz is, appears to be taller, it only has 14 milliliters in it, or five fluid ounces, while the T-Rex has 0.67 fluid ounces, or 20 milliliters. I don't have a preference. I, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to show you the different types of inks you could get. These are the looks we've gotten so far. And I'm going to let them dry a little bit more before I attempt to make any cards with these surfaces that we've made. As far as which pieces of artwork I'll be using to create a card today, I believe I'll be using this one done on the Yupo paper and possibly this one done on the back of photo paper. So we took our alcohol inked sheets. We're gonna trim this one down to an A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. 
We die cut this piece to form this really cute heart. I really like it. There's still a lot more of this surface we could use or we could play with it more. Then for this piece, which is the back of the photo paper, we die cut a star. I think it looks really cool. So we're just gonna trim this piece down to a four and a quarter by five and a half. So we're going to take these three pieces and we're going to make three cards. We're going to use some white daisy cardstock and I've already pre-scored it. So then all we have to do is fold it in half and take our Teflon bone folder and press that crease in. If you don't like how it looks, like it's not too, not straight enough for you, you can always turn it inside out. And that should work. Now we just have to adhere it to the, the pieces to the cards and stick a sentiment on. Basically, you can use any adhesive that you feel is strong enough to get these pieces onto your card. If you accidentally get ink onto your card, which I did here, you can take a mono adhesive sand eraser to erase that. Now let's glue the rest of the pieces onto their card bases. I like to use a liquid glue because it's easier to move around if you don't get it straight the first time around. Now, I've already die cut some sentiments, and we'll just figure out which one we like for these cards. We're also gonna take our T-square to make sure that we line these sentiments up straight.
if you want to make sure that it stays on for a while, you can always place a acrylic block on top. For this one, I think we're going to use the word celebrate. And then we're going to take our final piece that we worked on today. We've already glued it on. So all we have to do is find a sentiment to go with it. I think we're going to go ahead and go with thanks. As you can see there's a little bit of red left so what you can do is embellish it or try to erase a little more so I think I'm going to embellish this piece and let's see I might actually do thanks like three times on this card in different colors like since it's in black I might go gray and then to white so if I do that I will share that picture with y'all and as for embellishing this hmm I don't know what pieces I would use for that yet so if I do, I will share that with y'all. And I just really like this card. I think this card looks great as it is. So thank you for joining us today on the YouTube hop. If you like what you saw on my channel, please click the like button. If you wish to see future videos from me, click the subscribe button and please leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafty. Bye!